My Hometown, brought to you by Giuseppe Pizzeria by Dr. Utker. How will your family settle the last slice? Is it true he was skiing before he could walk? He was playing 360s before he could talk. 10,000 children have him as their name says. He's fast as an avalanche, unique as a snowflake. We're a mother. People will forgive your shame, but from this day forward, rejoice in his name. It was written he win. You know you've made it when there's a song written about you, a street named after you, and your picture is found on restaurant walls. It's hard to find a Whistler resident who doesn't know the name Rob Boyd. He holds arguably the greatest moment in Whistler's history. He is a star indeed, and keep in mind, no Canadian male has ever won a downhill at home. He instantly became a household name. But Boyd's story didn't begin in Whistler. He was born in Vernon, BC, and was introduced to the slopes as a young boy. Skiing meant everything to his family. My parents built a little ski hill called Tillicum Valley, and that was an incredible stomping ground for not just myself, but our whole family. They had a ski pro up there. Robbie followed him around like a little puppy. So anything, anytime he set a gates or anything, Rob would go through them. So he was just a born skier, really. I would do these little local races. When I started beating the pace setter at about 11 or 12 years old, I guess I realized that I was getting pretty good then. <laughs> and then in grade nine, he said, I think I'm gonna take German instead of French. And I said, well, why are you doing that? Well, because I'll need it when I ski in Europe. He was kind of like the kind of kid who really would take a lot of chances on stuff. He liked risks. I mean, he liked going fast. And uh, he impressed me a bit at that time with his skiing ability. And then from there, it just blossomed. The sad part about Tillicum Valley is uh, it went belly up with a couple of bad snow years, very high interest rates, a bit of recession. And um, so we, moved to Whistler in 1982. That move was just what the 16-year-old needed to excel in his sport. In just a few seasons, Boyd went from a member of the provincial team to the national one. And in 1989, with two World Cup wins already under his belt, he competed in another in front of a hometown crowd. Yes! Oh, yes! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Rob Boyd for the sensational run! Rob just kind of owned that, was his home mountain at that point. Uh, he knew the run well, and he just pulled out all the stops. When he got down, the cheer was amazing. Please double. There's nothing more special than winning a World Cup downhill in your home country. You know, the Swiss do it all the time, the Austrians, but the Canadians rarely do it. So it was a highlight in terms of winning in a hometown. It's what has carried my name and my reputation, if you will, for decades now. Over the course of his 12-year career, he won a total of three World Cups and qualified for three Olympic Games. But it was that one race that cemented his legacy. I would say on a weekly basis, I will come across someone just in conversation that will take pause and say, you know, I was there that day. It's nice to know that People haven't forgotten. He's probably the most famous guy to come out of Whistler. They must have mentioned Whistler a million times during Rob's career. And I think really put Whistler on the map as far as the great ski community in town. The number of kids that have gone on to participate in the Olympics out of this town is incredible. And it's a credit to people like Rob Boyd. Morning, morning, morning. After retiring from racing, Boyd worked as a coach with both the local and national teams. See if we can crack 100 kilometers an hour again. Yeah. 110. And still helps out with the Whistler Mountain Ski Club. But recently changed careers and is now involved in real estate. Listen, my clients really like that place. I'd like a little bit more information on it. His most important role, though, is passing on what he learned in his career to two special athletes, his sons, who have also chosen competitive sports albeit two different ones. I think sport, whether it's ski racing or hockey or soccer or any of the sports out there where there's a good serious aspect to it and you gotta focus and you gotta commit are incredibly applicable later in life too. They're important life lessons 
Yeah. I'm just encouraging them to try and go out and enjoy it. I want them to be who they want to be. My Hometown, brought to you by Giuseppe Pizzeria by Dr. Utker. How will your family settle the last slice?